Today's video is very kindly sponsored by Squarespace, but hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I thought I would just keep it really chill today, just take a seat. I'm actually sat on my new little sofa thing that is in my office, which I have been looking for for ages and I finally have one in my life. Honestly, it's the best thing I've ever bought. If you've watched my latest house update, then you would have seen this, but I highly recommend. They are very comfortable. So I thought I'd just sit here today. I asked you guys over on my Instagram. If you don't already follow me, make sure you go and follow me. I'll leave it linked down below and also on screen. Um, shameless plug. But yeah, I asked for some questions. I asked what you guys kind of want to know about me, what you might want updates on. And I thought I'd just sit down today and answer them. I've grabbed myself a nice glass of white wine. If you guys want to grab a drink or some snacks or something to watch this video, then definitely do so now and yeah i'm just gonna get straight on with the first question these are probably gonna be in the most random order because i haven't really looked through them but the first question is when are you and georgia filming it again together hopefully very soon as i'm sure you guys have seen she is currently in greece and there is now a quarantine like a two-week quarantine rule if you come back from mykonos which is where she is so probably not in the next two weeks um I hope I'm going to see the girls soon. We miss each other so much and I'm just so used to driving down to her house like almost every week to see her and like film together and stuff and it's been so weird just not doing that. Um, we have obviously been keeping up with each other over FaceTime and everything but it's just not the same. But yeah, hopefully I will see her very soon. She needs to come here actually. Um, she's due to come and see the new house which is very exciting. So I'm sure if she does that then we can film but I promise the videos will be coming back very soon. Maybe we can even film while she's doing her little quarantine thing because we did kind of get used to filming via facetime it was a little bit weird but we got used to it in the end so maybe we could do that oh someone's just said who is that gorgeous brown lab i posted coco who's one of our chocolate labradors um on my story the other day and i don't think i really show the dogs to you guys i feel like a lot of you might know bonnie just because she's like the small little fluffy dog um and she always comes upstairs with me or if i'm filming at mum and dad's she'd always sit with me while i filmed whereas we do also have two chocolate labs who are a lot older they don't really go upstairs anymore or anything they really are getting on a bit now which makes me quite emotional but yeah we have two gorgeous chocolate labs they are sisters and that one that was on my story was coco and then we have bella who is definitely a little bit older than her years um in comparison to coco because they're sisters we kind of compare them but yeah bella's just got all sorts kind of going wrong with her um but i'm sure she'll be fine but yeah that was coco the other one's bella okay this is super random but i always get this question like either on youtube sometimes i get dms and when i do one of these question things it's one of the most common asked questions and it's how much do you weigh which i will just never answer one because i actually don't have a clue how much i weigh i can't remember the last time I weighed myself and I don't want to answer that question because again I don't think it's relevant to other people like never compare your weight to somebody else's because people could weigh exactly the same and look completely different or look the same and weigh completely differently like nothing about you is based off your weight so yeah I'm never really sure why I get that question but I just wanted to address it in case you maybe do compare your weight to others please don't do that it is not necessary and I will never answer <laughs> How many piercings do you have? Oh my god, I think I think I have eight across my ears. I don't have piercings anywhere else, but I want to get more because I have so many cute earrings at the moment that I can't wear. So I might re-pierce my ears. We will see. This is another question that I get quite a lot. Do you dye your hair or is it natural? This is my natural colour. The last time I dyed my hair, I bleached it. I had like highlights put in. I will insert a picture on screen now of how that went safe to say i will never ever be blonde in my life it just does not suit me at all um so yeah this is all completely natural thanks to my mum she's very dark haired and yeah quite happy with the color that i've got what was your occupation before youtube i think i've answered this quite a few times on my instagram but i feel like a lot of you here are new so hey if you are thanks for joining me before youtube i was actually like a social media manager just for a different company so i literally did exactly the same thing but i was working for someone else and that company was pan and ice who are based in london they're an ice cream company they make like the ice cream rolls i'm sure you guys have probably seen them on instagram or something like that um it was really fun but i just got kind of bored of working for someone else and wanted to do it for myself so that is why i'm here but yeah i've always been in social media before that i was literally doing like social media marketing for an events company so i've always been interested in this but it just took a little while for me to kind of get it going and be able to do it on my own which i'm now super grateful for but yeah before this i was literally just doing the same thing for other people oh my god when would be your ideal time for b to propose 
I don't know. I'm literally like, so many people ask me this all the time. I'm just in no rush. I just kind of think I'm 23, Brad's 24. Yes, like a lot of my friends right now and a lot of people I know are literally like getting engaged at this exact age. And it does make me think, oh, do I kind of like want to get engaged? But I don't know if I do. I'm just not, I don't want to be engaged for a really long time before I then like plan my wedding and get married, if that makes sense. So I don't kind of want to get engaged now and then say get married in like two years time. I'd want to get married like the next year. So I don't know if I want to get engaged yet. I suppose the ideal time, I think maybe when we've got kids, my parents like had me and my brother before they got married. I think, yeah, even before they got engaged. So I'm quite used to that and I quite like that. Um, my brother and I were literally like at my mom's wedding and to this day it's like one of my favorite days of my life. So I kind of like the idea of that. I suppose it's just, I never really give it much thought, which might sound a bit crazy to people because I know a lot of people always like dream about their wedding when they're gonna get engaged and stuff. But I don't know, I've got other priorities. I think because we've got like this house and stuff, that's such a big commitment between us two. So I'm just in no rush. Although the ideal time I've always said to Brad, like I want people to see it. I want people to be around. I don't really want it to just be us two. I don't know why, I just love the thought of like other people being able to experience that with us. So we'll see. I have no idea what he has up his sleeve. I really like, haven't got a clue when he'd do it, what he'd do. He never tells me anything. So we will see about that one. I'll keep you guys posted. Sorry if I'm getting through these quite quickly, by the way, I wanna answer as many as I can, but I'm also in a little bit of a rush. So apologies for that. Have you ever suffered with acne? Your skin is amazing. Thank you. And very luckily, no. Again, I think I might've touched on this, but I am super grateful for my skin. I've never really suffered with it. The only thing that I tend to get is like hormonal spots around my period, which I currently have. Obviously this camera does wonders, the lighting does wonders, and all this makeup does wonders, you probably can't see anything. But I do have a couple like around my chin and mouth area. Luckily that is it. So I experience that like obviously once every month. And yeah, it kind of just clears itself up. I don't touch anything though. I don't try and use anything to get rid of them. I literally just leave them be and they will go. That obviously means there's no scarring or anything like that. So yeah, I feel very lucky to be able to say that I've never suffered with it. I think my mum actually suffered with acne in her late 20s. So obviously I'm not quite there yet. So maybe genetics, I might experience that, but hopefully not. <laughs> what do you think about first time relationships? Do you believe in them? I don't know if I'm misinterpreting this, but does that mean like the first person you're with is in like, is it possible to make that relationship last maybe? I don't know. I might be completely misunderstanding this, but if it is that, then I am in my first time relationship. Brad was, my first like proper long time boyfriend I would say. I was with people in the past, but it was never like this serious. Um, and we're seven years down the line. So hopefully that answers your question. Yes, I personally believe in them. Okay, someone else has asked kids before marriage question mark. I feel like I just kind of answered that, but I would happily have my kids before we get married. Um, I'm just not sure if it will pan out like that. We will see. I never really plan anything. I like to just kind of see what happens and what life throws at me, basically. Oh my God, another one. Do you and Brad have engagement plans? I don't know. You're gonna have to ask him, honestly. What age did you and Brad first move in together? We moved to London together when I think I was 19. I think he might've been 19 as well. We are like literally six months apart. So his birthday's in August and mine is March. Um, and he's always like six months older than me. So yeah, I think I was 19 and he might've been 20 because we moved in. December 2018, 2017, 2016, 2016 I think it was. Oh my God, that is literally four years ago. That is insane. Um, yeah, we first moved in together when we moved into our first flat in London and I was 19. We've been together like two years, two and a half years before we actually moved in or maybe even three. I'm so bad with details, but around 1920 was when we first moved in. What's your star sign? I am a Pisces and I'm probably the most Pisces Pisces you will ever meet in your life. <laughs> Everything I read like in horoscopes and like what my traits are gonna be like is literally me to a T. What's your favorite drink? If we are talking alcoholic drink, it will have to be a mojito. I love a refreshing drink like a mojito or a Paul San Martini or a good glass of wine, to be honest. I actually am well into wine at the moment. Wine or rosé? They are my favourites. Also then if we're talking soft drink, it would be Fanta Fruit Twist. 
love it so a little bit about squarespace they are an amazing website building and hosting platform i wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it because if for example you've been looking at starting up a blog i know a lot of people have been getting into blogging and creating websites during lockdown so they have some amazing features on there like social media integrations you can also easily categorize share and schedule your posts to make your content work specifically for you and it's just a super easy platform to use all together so if you are interested obviously they offer various different platforms as well such as online shops you can create email campaigns through them and there are multiple other ways which i feel like you guys could utilize their platform but they have very kindly given me a discount code so the code is just emily Fourpot, and i'll leave a direct link down below in the description if it is something you want to check out for yourselves then just click that link do you see yourself getting a dog anytime soon again a very asked question i think when people move into their house people just assume that you're then going to get a pet which i get for a lot of people is definitely the next step but for us it's not right now um, I think we're only really going to get any type of pet when we have kids only because that is when we'll fully be settled. Me and Brad are always away like I'm always traveling or Brad is traveling for work like we are very rarely here obviously right now we're here 24 7 but when everything kind of goes back to normal I just think it wouldn't be fair on any animal for us to be away as much as we are and we do tend to just plan something really quickly and we're off the next day so I don't want to have to worry about like finding care and stuff like that for any animal or feeling like they're just left here alone for many hours of the day so not right now it just doesn't kind of fit in with our lifestyle but I would love to in the future like I say when we have kids I love the idea of getting a puppy and then having a baby and they can like grow up together how cute would that be probably an absolute nightmare though because looking after a baby and a puppy at the same time is probably quite a task how tall are you i'm five foot six i say it in every whole video but i'm five foot six reference How old are you and when is your birthday? I think I just mentioned I am 23 and my birthday is the 20th of March. Have you ever started, would you ever get lip fillers or any plastic surgery? I have never had lip fillers. I don't think I ever would. And in terms of plastic surgery, it kind of freaks me out. Um, I don't think that I would ever allow myself to kind of feel that conscious about something that I would want to change it that drastically. I just think it's quite intrusive and personally just not for me. I think learning to embrace features of yourself that you might not necessarily love um, is a lot more important to me than just like paying to get it fixed quote unquote sometimes I don't think it's fixing I just personally have never really been the biggest fan of like plastic surgery and stuff fine if you are just personal opinion how are you loving the new house I am just loving it here I just feel so content I feel like we're finally at a point where it just feels like home when we walk in the door you know when you kind of move in somewhere and everything's a little bit bare or like all of the old colors are still on the wall or the blinds are still up which are still up um but it just feels like it's already got somebody else's touch on it it did feel like that for a little while but now we've been here for a few months now we have managed to put a little touch on it and it definitely feels like we're coming home to like our space and i love that i'm just loving having something to do every day like brad is always out in the garden or sorting out his man den or something there's always a list ongoing and it keeps us busy which is so nice it's all very exciting as well so I'm loving it. Thanks for asking. Do you have another group of friends that you don't show online? Yes, I have my school friends. I have friends from my old work. I have friends kind of dotted everywhere and not just in like where I've met them from, but also literally around the country. So I don't manage to see a lot of my friends all the time. Um, but yeah, I definitely have people that I've never shown on my Instagram or my YouTube because it's just not their job. Obviously, you guys know who I'm friends with online. Um, I feel like there's also probably quite a few people that I chat to and you guys probably have no idea about just because obviously I'm not going to go around sticking the camera in people's faces. So yeah, Brad and I have got a really nice group of friends and we're also very family orientated. So most of the time we're hanging out with like my cousins and stuff. And if you guys see me out somewhere, especially locally, that is probably who I'm hanging out with. Also, one of my best friends is actually with my cousin. So that actually works out quite nicely to be fair. When you and Brad do get a dog, do you know what breed it will be? This is... A tough question because brad wants an alsatian or german shepherd however you know them um and i love them i think they're absolutely adorable when they're puppies my granddad and i think my auntie and uncle at some point had 
a German Shepherd as well. So I've kind of grown up with them in the family. And yeah, they're just like the most loving dogs. They are so, so loyal, it's insane. So I do really love the thought of having one of those, especially like if we do have kids around and like that little Alsatia could be the kid's best friend, like how cute would that be? But I also absolutely adore Bonnie. I just think cockapoos have such a nice temperament. Like they are so cute, so cuddly. They absolutely love the attention and I kind of want like a little small dog that I can just pick up, have on the sofa with me. And that kind of isn't an Alsatian. Like having that on the sofa and cuddling it would be a task. So yeah, we're literally on like two ends of the spectrum here. So maybe we'll have to get two, but I'm sure we will settle on a breed at some point. <laughs> when did you start YouTube? Oh my God, a while ago. I think I found it on my um instagram archive the other day i want to say it was like it was when i was in london so maybe four or five years ago actually i can't quite remember i think around then but a little while <laughs> do you see yourself getting married in the next three years i don't think i do i don't know maybe how old would i be okay i'd be like 26 so i don't think i do no i don't know can you guys tell that I literally live my life day by day? Did you go to uni or if you did go to uni, what would you have done? I didn't. Um, oh my God. I personally don't know what I would have done because that is the main reason why I didn't go. Cause I just was kind of done with education at that point And I had no idea what I wanted to study for another like three, four years. I just couldn't think of anything worse if I'm honest. But I probably would have done some kind of like maybe fashion degree, maybe like fashion photography. I was well into photography when I was in college. So maybe something like that. Do you have any plans for a career outside of YouTube? I don't, no. Um, I just always feel like if, because people always say, oh, what would you do if YouTube like tomorrow just disappeared? And I personally can't see that happening, but if it did, I'd like figure it out if I had to. I don't really like to just think of the worst type thing. I've never in my life had like a plan B. My mum would kill me for saying that because she is always, like if something goes wrong, she'll know exactly what to do and I just, never do yeah i don't really have a plan b if this all goes down the hole so if you guys want to keep watching if you want to keep engaging with my stuff that would be amazing but like i say if something drastic happened and i had to go and find like a career or something then i would do that i'd love to come out with a brand someday and yeah maybe i can work on that soon we will see but right now i have literally nothing in the pipeline i won't lie what were you like at school and what subjects did you take slash like um all my teachers would probably say I just talked my whole way through every single lesson. When I was a lot younger, especially in like English, I would, if we had to like write a story or something, I'd literally write like two sentences, draw a picture, two sentences, draw a picture to like annotate the story. So I suppose you could say I was always like more creative. Like I didn't really like doing the work. I just wanted to either chat to my mates or draw some pictures. So probably not the best. I didn't really concentrate that well and that's why I didn't really want to go to uni. I didn't want to take education anymore. I wanted to get out, get a job and start earning money. But which subjects did I like? Probably the arty ones, like photography, art. I really like geography actually, but that was because of my teacher. It really scares me that you can love a subject just because of your teacher. And like there were so many subjects that I hated because my teachers were just like awful. But yeah, I say they are my favorite subjects that I can remember. Do you ever worry about settling down too soon? I don't think you should, but I just do. I never do because I always think about this and Brad is like totally gonna be hyped up here, but I feel very, very lucky in my relationship and having Brad as the person that I met when I was 16 because everyone tells me this and like I know myself as well but he is just like I know the boy will never hurt me I know he'll never do anything to intentionally upset me he looks after me like there is not one bad thing that I could say about him obviously there's days where he drives me out the wall and like he leaves his washing around and sometimes he doesn't do the food shop and like things like that but that's just tedious things that honestly in the grand scheme of things don't mean a lot and I can very much get over those but yeah I just feel lucky that I don't have to kind of worry about finding someone that isn't gonna hurt me and isn't that interested in me or something like that i have never worried that i've settled down too quickly if you find the person that you want to be with and you know that then amazing like it doesn't matter when you find them whether you're young whether you're a lot older it literally doesn't matter i don't think anything can be taken too quick because at the end of the day you know yourself and you know that person and you are the only two people in your relationship so don't ever worry about settling down too soon because if you found the right person you'll never sit there and like worry about what you might be missing out on if you were single or obviously i've thought about it and i've been like oh my god how different could my life be but not in the sense of oh my god i i bet i would be doing something better because i generally 
don't have anything better that I'd rather be doing with my life as cheesy as it sounds I just feel very lucky in my relationship and what we've managed to do as a couple so yeah I'm liking where it's going I definitely don't feel like that and I hope you don't as well would you consider doing a come drive with me i used to do these a lot and i haven't done one for ages so i will get on that i will definitely do an updated one very very soon oh my god this is cute faith thing about yourself physical and non-physical interesting i never sit here and be like crazy nice to myself so let's have a think um okay non-physical i would say that i always try and be super like upbeat like i'm always that person if you're feeling down i will annoy you until you feel better well hopefully not annoy you but like i'll try and always pick everybody up in the room so maybe that like i always have everyone's best intentions at heart um but then physical maybe my hair can i say that my hair on my lips did you intend for youtube to become a full-time job when you started it i would dream of it being a full-time job i never ever thought it would happen but i suppose like i did intend for it because i was working towards it being my full-time job if that makes sense so does that sound fair like i wouldn't say oh no like i had no idea what was going to happen because i did start this journey thinking like how amazing would it be if one day i could just spend my day making youtube videos editing and posting instagram pictures and here we are today so i guess i did intend on it being like i did work as hard as i possibly could to make this work um, as my full-time job so I guess so but then at the same time I still to this day I'm always very shocked that it did happen and I'm super grateful for that so yeah I guess yes is the answer to that question what hair tool do you use to curl and straighten your hair and what heat protectant so the heat protectant I use is an OGX one I'll put a picture on the screen because I can't remember the name of it and then when I want to straighten my hair I'll use my GHDs it's actually the GHDs that were a collab with Lulu Guinness, I think. And I think it was for breast cancer, which is amazing. So I'll link them down below. And then if I do curl my hair, then I'll use the Mark Hill, like pick and mix barrel, I think it's called, or the handle. And then you can interchange the barrels and I just use the medium one. So again, I'll link it. But I feel like that is all the questions I'm gonna go through for now. I now need to head off. I'm heading out this evening. So apologies, this was a bit of a rush video. I do hope you enjoyed it though. And you maybe found out a little bit more about me. I wanna do a few more of these more like like consistently so we can always stay up to date with each other if you do want me to do that then please give it a thumbs up and it will let me know also hit subscribe if you're new here and you want to stick around for more in the future but that being said thank you all so much for watching as always and i'll speak to you all very soon in my next one bye guys